you're sending a signal to the server. <laughs> I have arrived. طيب. <laughs> Why is that? يعني I think the cookbook snack called. No wonder who that. Okay, I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah, with that look, you. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I was telling Sultan yesterday. Mm. I was, first off, yesterday we had suhoor at the boys, right? Mm. Mm. And I so, did. You didn't. Okay, I, I, as I don't. usual. As usual. Mm. So. Uh, I think it was Didi who uh, got Mendy. Was it Mendy? Hey, Kafol. And the boys went in. Okay. Okay. Like, okay. You know, I saw the boys go in, Suhoor, you know, like they, mm-hmm. they put so the Friday ritual. They put a shift. Mm-hmm. The boys put a shift. Hey, as they always do. As they always do. Mm-hmm. And then. <laughs> no, no, yesterday was special. And then everybody. <laughs> 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 He's proud of himself. Everybody gets up. Okay. Right? And just خلاص uh, yeah, <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Okay. Everybody, literally, everybody gets up like one by one. Okay. <laughs> and the last survivor's turks. I was the last one to sit down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <Okay. Exactly. laughs> no, you were not. I was. <laughs> is that your excuse? I yeah, was. was. No, that wasn't my excuse. <laughs> to be honest, no, there's a better excuse. Bro, for 10 minutes, I'm like, this guy's still sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And yeah. I was telling Sultan, he's, he's like, why are you giving him so much shit? Because he got up after mm. I was trashing yeah. him. <laughs> 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 Very much. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the haters Half, Halfway through the meal, I discovered that there was Garsan and Jirish mm. on the side. Mm. And this, I really changes, m- this changes the entire dynamic. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so I really miss my I created my own Makruta. <laughs> Okay, the man went to went into you know chef mode. You, you know? DIY'd. He was there. Yes, exactly. DIY. DIY Fifteen with minutes after everybody got up, this they, boy is still like elbows oh. deep. <laughs> I, do, I was super hungry. Okay. Okay. We ordered dessert mm. beforehand. We did, got here. I got around eleven thirty. Let's no, say. I, I okay. got there around like twelve something. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Let's let's open it up. Let's eat something. Mm. Alhain. Bad idea. Like, no, no, no. Bad, bad idea. Bro. Yeah. And يعني من هناك وأنا مرة جوعان. I'm really really hungry. <laughs> so you were you hurt no by idea. that moment. You have no idea how okay. hungry I was. Well, let's honestly respect to the man for creating his own meal. يعني هو سحب على you know the basic ingredients. He, I saw him turn the plate. And he engineered. Plate. He turned the plate, bro, <laughs> to get to the other side. There was bones everywhere, dude. Lazim, okay. Lazim, the well, uh, fire I, was so fun. I was like, I was like, that's the fat Turks. What are we talking about? <laughs> he exists inside. And what? And what did we just? What did he just tell him? Give a shoya. He just what asked if he was getting fat, right? You are getting fat. Yeah. See, so he good. was yeah, actually, and he was asking you the same question. I know. I, I have you are getting fat by the way. Yes. Oh, really? yeah, you, are, you, are, you, you see it face. now yeah. under the lights. God yeah. damn, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is more rounded. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you know the game is working. The game is working. So I was telling Sultan, he's like, why are you giving him so much shit? I was like, because he walks into the podcast, tells me I'm wearing something nice. Mm. And when we start recording, he trashes me. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. the second I went like this, he's like, the KKK call. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't say nothing yeah. the whole he's, night. He's waiting. He's waiting for it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, welcome, fans. It comes to your boy Adam. What's happening? What's popping? Episode 253. Got the homie Tuxar behind Hello. me. Hello. I got Shamsar right next to Yo. me. Number one is back from Russia. The guy got released. I am not dead. Shout out to tens of tens of listeners. Shout out to tens of tens of viewers. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. Ramadan Barak again to everybody. Uh, happy Ashal al This is what we're going to call it. Uh, is that how they say it? <laughs> it's go time. It's go time, boys. It's go time. Ashal yes. al Put in the work. Yeah. Well, honestly, bravo Turks! I, I I applaud him for putting in the shift. Any you, you should you should show more appreciation. I wish you should join them in dinner. The start there, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then to let the man, you know, يمسح الصحة. هو خير هو هو خير. Yes. Look, Shams, I'm gonna teach you something. Like in life, even in age, I'm running ahead of you. Mm. So I need to pass down my knowledge. Mm. At my age, uh-huh. if I have one extra meal, that's an extra six kilos the next day. Yeah, okay, one, just one. Just one extra meal. Okay. And it will take me nine months to lose those six so kilos. Pl- plan it, plan it. Yeah, Schedule yeah, that yeah, extra yeah, meal. It's no like plan. my grandpa says, no meals between meals. He's on the same age, right? Same age, mm. same yeah. age <laughs> <laughs> his grandpa. <Yeah. laughs> one. Same you philosophy. Should, you should be listening to that with the hala coming in a bit too early. Why? No, it was, it was Sirilakum Ali. Mm. I had yes, to. I heard of this uh, Rakam Ali. It was good. And I was, I was there. I tried. I tried that. I tried. Yeah. Okay. Tried a little bit. Yeah. So I did miss out. Six kids. Yes. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I was, like, you know, like my yeah. love handle just fell out right after eating. <laughs> no, that you became a love trunk. So good that you're here, you love trunk. <laughs> mm. Okay. We were talking about last, uh, was it last episode? We were last talking episode, about, yeah. yeah. We were talking about, what's name? People uh, 
who do surgeries because they have a hard time losing weight and so on. Correct. Yes. So I said, yeah. I wish number one wasn't caught in Russia so we can have this conversation. I have you. returned from Mother Russia. <laughs> okay, mm. listen, <laughs> you terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to tell these dumbasses, I mean my friends. No, dumbasses. Okay, friends also. Potato, potato. Why is sometimes some people will go towards surgery and not go through exercising every single day? When they're at a certain obese weight. I'll tell you one thing. It's two things. One, you have a very tar- at some point you have a very short uh, time t- time left to avoid catastrophic results of being fat. Mm-hmm. And sometimes surgery is the quickest way to do it. And second, some people just can't change their lifestyle. And the surgery as a result, like Rasbin <laughs> Anik lifestyle yeah, because feel, you can't eat. I feel like a lot of people you know, they go the easier out of doing the surgery rather than putting in the work. Yeah, and and the counterpoint to that is actually interesting. This weekend, I ran into uh, one of the one of my relatives who, for a longer, for you know, a very long time, you know, he was he was overweight. And seeing him after a while, he had lost a lot of weight. And then when I started talking about it, he mentioned like he was on a very strict diet, um, yeah, very liquid based, you know, and he's been sticking to this diet for a long time, you know. For, uh, I do understand that sometimes it might be difficult. This is it impossible. It's difficult, uh, and a lot of people don't have the capacity and lifestyle to actually manage to do it. Like how, all of us here work office jobs, sure. and office jobs are not really reliable. It comes to I don't know, clocking in, clocking out. Sometimes you can't. I can't put this hoodie on. I just can't. Then don't. <laughs> Every time <laughs> no. I want to put it on, no. <laughs> like, I, I know it took some That's how it. That's how it. That's how it. Yeah, sometimes. But the office job, you can get one of those treadmill uh, desks. Okay. Or you walk and talk. Okay, okay. Uh, do it. What, what about I do it? Have, get, never. Get, get to it. Homie. I will pay you. Yeah, we talked about yeah, that. Yeah, yes. homie, we talked about that. Homie has that at work. He has uh, he does. the yes. treadmill where yeah. he walks and and I think he has the, uh, what's the name? The walkalator or something like that. It's not <laughs> called the treadmill. <laughs> so it's called okay. something stupid. I don't understand why he doesn't just pace the office. He, does, he says he does that. When he's on a phone yeah. call, he paces. Yeah. Whenever he's just working on his desk. He, he stands just, on the... Yeah. <laughs> okay. But with pacing, there's too many turns. Mm. And then he, you have to be aware of a lot of but things. But in terms of lifestyle, because it's easy for us to say, like change your lifestyle, why he's saying it's hard? Because we're if you look at the majority of the country, Al-Hala <laughs> Asasiyat. Amen. Yes. Right? But... You, no. try to, you try to cut weight when you go into your grandma's house or if you have a lot of food and food. Keep in mind that uh, the, the, the desserts that we have here culturally... Wild, but they're way less sweeter than American sweets. The amount of sugar put in uh, l- l- our desserts is around half. Taqlib. Yeah, yeah, but see, it's <laughs> still sugar. Yeah, Americans it's have sugar. like sweets every now and then, like uh, us, like two or three times. No, a, a there is a factory that does cheesecakes. Are you aware of the Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> no, okay. I am familiar yeah. with yes. the Cheesecake Factory. I'm pretty sure yeah, if there's a factory, there's <laughs> daily consumption. <laughs> I'm, familiar. <laughs> I'm familiar with the Cheesecake Factory. No, you but Skiman, it's, Ram- it's Ramadan, fan. You, you are going to be having sweets on I, the basis. I would on, challenge. On the I would I would challenge the cause of obesity here in Saudi being desserts. I would say it's more just carbs in general. Ruz. R- ruz. Yeah, everything we have is carbs. Ruz, ruz, Other than ruz. carbs, I think it's inactivity. It's yeah, just, it's it's a big second. It's, no, yeah. it's I think it's also about the portions. Oil. Yeah, you know. The, oh yeah, this, we this don't is understand our issue. Portions. Exactly. Hey. I mean, this dude, he ate for forty-five minutes yesterday. I did. I did. <laughs> it, was, it was really fun, guys. <laughs> he rotated the plate, bro. Rotated. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, ooh, meat over yes, there. Yes. <laughs> Look at how happy he's doing. People's I, hand is I in the air. Passed <laughs> out after that. Yeah, I, I couldn't move I a muscle. Come on. Yes. Shout out to my father. He's like, yeah, hala, yeah. Turks was like, I can't move. <laughs> I will ask you how many people here when they ordered Nafar Bukhari are look at the plate and say that's for one Nafar and no way of, it's for multiple Nafars no exactly. way that's of true. course mm. yes but I think this is our biggest issue is portion and, it's, and that's go, I think the part of that goes back to us being generous in general and then in the, and you, when you want to feed someone exactly you want to feed someone you're you're ensuring that you are very full and satisfied and that as person be him in neck and yeah. also he's going to eat as much as possible exactly as a thank left. you exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. wait that sounds like a very bad chain wait how, how do really? we really uh, yeah. yeah, no shit that's seriously that's how, do we, been going how do we unlock this chain you can't you can't, no. you can't. I'll tell you how said cousin unlocked this chain during this Tour. How he did not participate. Yeah, but that's family. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah you know, that's family. Like, family. Hey, guys, I'm on a very strict diet. Yeah, I tamar literally. I can tamar tamar tayin. Oh yeah, that that was it. Did he sit with you while you? Yes, eating? we were there. Okay, cool. Yeah, so he just stared at you. 
And yeah, and he was, That's he all was, I do every yeah. weekend. With the boys. Literally every <laughs> single weekend, the man walks in and he's, and, and there's, and he's, 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 Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing it goes, it's, it goes back to the point. Yeah, it explains the. And now, the, now if you look at yeah. all the boys, now just imagine all of our boys in that one room. Yes. The only person that sells is Abdullah. <laughs> the only one. Have you seen his face after the meal? No. He kept staring at the ceiling for five minutes. So he couldn't move. <laughs> he could. He was on standby. Because he knows he's going to be in the gym for the next five days <laughs> just because of that one meal. Okay, which is which is which is the right attitude. Ooh. Brings us back to number one. Can, can I can I say have fun? Can, guys. can I now that you mentioned the gym? Can I say? Screw you idiots that just remember you have a gym membership in Ramadan. I have to, I have to get my cardio in you assholes. I don't want to wait. Yeah, Ramadan. I don't go to the gym in Ramadan. No matter what happens. A lot of people go before. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 at all. Yeah. I don't touch the gym at all. I put the rowing machine next to my bed, and I've been saying I will start working <laughs> out since the beginning of Ramadan. Mm. No, Every you're, time, you're, that's not a rowing machine. You're thinking about row, row, row your boat down the stream. That's that's what you're doing. No, I, mm. any of the football. I don't know what you're, joke you're going for, but you failed. It's okay. He just came back from Russia. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah translation. Yeah, 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 I, I am yeah. Ameri- American ski. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so every day I come back from work, I look at the rowing machine, and. It's you right there roll. next to my bed. <laughs> you just look at it. I look at it and then look at the bed and then take Listen, a, I got an you. hour and a half of halas. I'll be there one day. Hey, hey, one day. I will ride day. you. <laughs> I touch it just one skin while I'm passing back. One day. <laughs> <laughs> and just blow the dust away. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be clean. That's the workout. But why yeah. don't you go to Ramadan? Oh, it's always packed. Yes. Mm. So, I mean, there's, there's different times you can go in. Yeah, but still, the times that I'd like to go when I know I have energy to go mm. is the time when everybody's like, yo, I also have energy to go. Okay, <laughs> what time is that usually? It's usually nighttime. Mm. Okay. Bad of story. Yeah. Wallahi, any advice? For him? Yeah. Okay, is this what this podcast is coming to? I'm we have a little conversation we have trying to give each other advice. No, no, exactly. he, Adil is a wise man. He gives me advice. Mm-hmm. Mm. Thank you. I appreciate you. I'm not giving you anything. <laughs> I'll do the ST. Uh, so mm-hmm. anyway, mm-hmm. Uh, what's new, guys? Uh, what's been happening? Nothing much. All right. <laughs> chirp, okay. chirp. All right. Yeah. All right, fine. Since we have no topics, hey, let's, let's talk about Kendrick Lamar. Hello. Okay. <laughs> what's happening with Kendrick Lamar? Kendrick Lamar said, anybody can get it. <laughs> Look, I don't want to go dissecting the whole track. The, no, no, no. Let's, g- let's, give, let's, give me an overview. Give me an overview, please. Let's look at the big picture. Some, ba- some background. Let's first. look at the big picture. No, no, no. I'm not even going to. No, no. We're not I need that. some background. That's going to be like a good 25, 45 minute uh, podcast, and I'm not doing this. I'm anymore. seeing all it's, the memes. I need context. Long, it's a long conversation, but let me explain something to you. He's dissing people. Yeah, like very I'm simply, kidding, I'm he's, unprovoked. Going, he's going at. Look, Drake and Kendrick had problems. We already knew that. Mm-hmm. From but a while ago. Kendrick and Future, I guess they, Drake and Future having problems, now that's new to everybody. Okay. And that's actual. That's one side of the whole issue that I'm seeing. So, so Metro Boomin and Future just released their album. Kendrick was on a track called Like That. Kendrick went off on Drake and J. Cole because of their first person shooter uh, music video. Which came track, out a while ago. Which came out a while ago. Yeah. The Drake mm-hmm. and J. Cole. They dissed Kendrick? They, no. no. They came out with a track a while ago where they're basically saying, yes, we're on top of the game. Like both of us. And it was, yes. it was unusual to see uh. that happening because, you know... Rap is usually it's a me game. It's not an us game. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I am the goat, not yeah. we are the goats. Uh-huh. You know. So what happened was when all this fuss was coming out, everyone was like, "Oh, this guy wants this. This guy wants that." Then you know, day by day, information start coming out. There's a track called Princess Diana, which is one of the sole issues of the whole problem between Future and Drake. Okay, wait. I don't know about exactly. This. Okay. Why would you think Drake and Future have a problem? Let's take this. Just, just, Give me, give me thoughts. And we're talking about two people who are successful. To, are successful, who worked together previously. They have an album together. Rich. Yeah, don't they? Yes, they have. They of do. Yeah. So yeah, he doesn't. An amazing album, by the way. Mm. But but take but. a wild guess. What well, what would you think is the issue that would come between these two successful men? Hmm. A woman. Oh. oh wow. <laughs> Could you be right a hundred percent? Yes, you can. What yeah. a surprise! Give him a high five. Give him a high five. Yeah. Ding ding ding. Man, yeah. <laughs> yeah. ding ding ding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get something. Fine, yeah, well, well, well. okay, know. works for the conversation. Yes, okay. But Kef, not only is but, she a woman, she's also, mm. oh, Salam Alan. Mm. 
ايوه هاو كان اي سي بروستيتوت ان رمضان ديز ا وومن اوف لوس فيرتيو اوكي اه بي يور نيك نيم فروم ناو بيتر ذان ذا وان ذات يو هاف اوريدي اكشلي ذا وان اي هاف از بريتي فاين واي ديد يو هاف ذات تايتل ان ذا تشامبر ذاتس ذا كويستشن هيز بين ذير اي ام مان اوف ووردز <laughs> But not a man of God. <laughs> He's been waiting to say that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so both of them are sleeping with the same girl, right? Mm. And both of them, apparently someone's pillow talking. Okay. And Future says Drake is the one that's pillow talking. Mm. Drake is saying Future's pillow talking about each other. Mm. Future for a long, long time always thought he was better than Drake. And, you know, he, I wouldn't say he has an argument, but he has a very rabid fan base that can support the argument. Exactly. Yes. Thank you. Like that's a very correct. rabid fan base. So... Their issue is just one woman. I don't, bro, there is like so many issues in the world and these two losers are fighting over the same prostitute. Bro. I, have no, okay. I have no fucking where we're going with this. So like Drake and Future having problems, it's fun for me to watch, mm. right? Watching Kendrick go after J. Cole. Now, to me, a guy who grew up in 90s hip hop mm. is a blessing in disguise. Bro. <laughs> it's nice to watch, isn't it? Okay, see, I'm, I'm all up for beef. Mm. But we have to look into this in a totally different way than before. In the 90s, you used to talk shit. Next day, there's tracks coming at you. Mm. Right now, everything is totally different. It's a, it's much more of a media there's, game. There's an industry behind you. Yeah. When Pusha T went at Drake, we all looked at Drake, what is he going to do? And Drake did absolutely nothing. And Jay Prince had to come out, the guy who's basically invested in Drake, to come out and, and kind of squash everything. Down. Yeah, and yeah. tells Jay not to respond or whatever, and Drake felt a certain way. Because, you know, certain rap beefs can go violent. They can go wrong. I Violence think, and Drake doesn't come in the same sentence. I, I agree. Don't think so. And also, I think Drake... Feelings, probably. Drake has an industry behind him. Mm. Everything that Drake touches becomes number one. And Drake does features with these random nobody sometimes. And we're like, why is he doing this feature? And it's because the machine is pushing it because in a certain direction. I, because him... I think he has a contract that we've never, ever seen in our life. Okay. Because he's been so successful at getting number ones. It's crazy. So this doesn't allow him to partake exactly. within the regular context of rap beefs. Exactly. Because you're not going to be allowed to respond. He will give you a line here and there in a track. But he's, he, and he's been doing that he for a while. But he won't do, exactly, that's all he can do. Because he can't come at as someone the same way he came at Pusha. Well, he did with Meek Mill. Hey, tiny but good look. He did with Meek Mill. Yeah. But mm, come on. Yeah, Meek Mill is a <laughs> small fry. Hey, yeah, bro. Yeah, we're, not, we're not comparing here. Future has Atlanta behind him. And Atlanta is the Black home culture. of hip hop for yeah. the last like 15, 20 years now. Basically. 15, I say. Yeah. Right? And if that whole city backs Future, Drake can't perform in Atlanta. Mm, mm. That becomes an issue. Interesting issues. twist. And if Kendrick who has L.A. behind him, stand with Kendrick, Drake might not perform in L.A. Mm. So that's two big markets out of Huge your rotation. Huge markets. Okay, so where does that leave you as Drake, the number one artist? Supposedly? And you know, if you lose Atlanta in L.A., New York will follow suit. We see that, that which brings us back to, I think, one of the original questions. Is Drake really a rapper? He's, He's a, a hip-hop really rapper. No, the way I looked at this whole beef mm. is creativity in business. Okay. You Explain. as a creative mm. can come up with some of the best work. Mm. But sometimes the business is not going to allow you to share that creativity in the way that you wanted to share it. We're talking about Drake here as the creative. Look at Drake as the creative. Okay. Look at Drake every time he <coughs> wants to make a hit, he'll make a hit. Right? Mm-hmm. But when it comes to certain things that can make him even be better, which is like beef and hip hop, We see here that there's another... He inter- can't make those moves. But there's another intersection here. We're also dividing between the business and the culture. There's an argument that says that beef is good for business. It helps us sell records. You know, it, it, it brings media attention, right? But also beef and rap has, you know, deep roots. Consequences. That, consequences and deep roots that have shown to have, you know, bad outcomes, right? So it's, 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 it's like playing with fire, right? And... Drake is surrounded by all these handlers that they're not really going to let him ever really play with fire. Exactly. Right? So, so that, 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 that trumps will, culture. Yeah. So that will take away from his, you know, status within the culture. If I have a guarantee. Does this matter? Of course. Does, of course I, 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 somebody like Drake would say, you know, you know what? Nah, fuck the culture. 
I'm all about the business. I'm all about, you know, the bottom line here. At the end of the day, I'm using the culture, the culture. Damn, yes. that's a big word. Damn, yes. I'm actually saying this. Yes. I'm using the You're culture yeah, to make my money. And you know what? Fuck everything else. Exactly. Sounds so like sounds like Drake, right? Yeah. Sounds like Drake. Yeah. But what happens when you start losing the big cities? culture doesn't give a shit about you anymore you're not part of the culture you know anymore. but i still have the rest of the fucking world yes don't I? there's gonna be a demographic that's always gonna listen to you mm. right i'm still gonna be the number one artist but you're not gonna be the number one artist in, in a place where you need to be number one does that matter in the long run of course i'm asking in business no he said that's where i'm going with you but you know because hip-hop culture is the u.s and if you lose out in hip-hop culture say, no that, say, say that again Hip hop culture is in the U.S. is is in the U.S. not yes. is the U.S. No, it's not the U.S. Okay, it's yeah. a, 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 essentially a, yes. It's a big chunk of the U.S. Yeah, but right. now with him being so international, yeah, you have a hip hop scene in the U.K. You have a hip hop scene all over the world. Mm -hmm. So everyone has their own idea of what hip hop is. But if you lose the U.S., that's a big problem. You lose your cred, basically. Exactly. Musi, uh, any. So my question here: Bad uh, Bunny has the U.S., but what's his real money coming from? From Latin America, exactly. Yeah. And that's why he's he'll lose the U.S., but he's not going to lose Latin America. He's never going to lose Latin America. Yeah. So my question here is: as a hip hop uh, neophyte, a uh, what? Basically, what, what, my FM. new. Yeah. FM enough. <laughs> <laughs> FM enough. FM enough. Okay. FM enough. One. How legit is Drake? I assume not very legit. So he's a Canadian uh, no, he actor. Can craft his no, name no, is, his name is Aubrey, look, look, for look, God's look, sake. Look, look, look. We, can, we cannot have this conversation when a guy had so many number ones. No, no, sure, sure, sure. He's not someone who can craft his sound. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying legit in terms of this guy is a hip hop artist versus this guy is just a pop artist. So within the culture of hip hop, I don't assume that Drake is. He, Discussed with reverence as opposed to, I don't know, like... I don't think Drake is in a lot of people's top, top fives. Yeah. So... I think he is in a lot of people's top fives, but most Def said it best when he said... Um, I've been thinking about that for the past 10 minutes. music for... Uh, what is it? For shopping. Yeah. <laughs> what was the name of that song? 21 something? I'll, I'll listen to uh, him while I'm in a mall. 21. Forever 21. Yeah, yes. Like, yeah. I'll listen to him while I'm in a mall in Houston trying to buy something. And it's going to be good. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy it, right? Because but, it is poppy music. He is a great actor playing a pop artist. Exactly. We said this before. He's an yeah. actor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he was originally an actor. What, what's yeah. that video you showed me? The, he was in the, the, the home video one? Uh, oh shit, Jabin Goldman, oh, okay, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, in two minutes, Lord. Good for them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I forgot which video it was, but uh, yeah. it was from his last album. Yeah, the, the one where it's like a home video and like they're, they're a broke family having yeah, a baby. Yeah, the one with Six and Red, yeah. That is the, yeah, and he, It shows how good of an actor he is. But, but plus, <laughs> is, is, that, is that his authentic truth? Is that, or is he just an actor? Acting, he's a, he's like a, using the culture. That is the best example of using the culture. Okay. That you give. He's 100%? Been, he's no, no, been, yeah, 100%. I, think, yeah. I mean, uh, you see him. He's, he goes to the UK, he tries to rap like them. Mm. He goes to Jamaica, tries to rap like them. Everyone says it's a Toronto accent, but you know, that's, that's totally different. What's his new catchphrase? I have no idea. Bombo clap. Bombo clap. No, I assume not. No, no. <laughs> okay. But we're saying he's so good at being a chameleon in these things. At playing the role. Yeah, you know, and and, yeah. and not just that, honestly. And he, I think he, it's because of business. Even though, if I think he does have the firepower to go at Pusha T, to go at Kendrick and everybody else, the business is too strong to allow him to make such a risk, because they know it could backfire. Pusha T came personal; mm. it was so personal with Pusha, and so when he hit him so hard and on he, the inside, and not just on the inside, he hit him on his business and his well. family. Yeah. Like you went at the man in all regards and you left the mark. Yeah, you shamed him into being a father. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, you blew up a business deal. That's one. That's another thing you did. You know? So when he did that, they were like, yo, okay, you can go back and battle with him, but this guy might have more personal things about you that can affect the business. And people never forgot, though. Of course. Like, you know, and, and that's, that's the funny thing about this. Like, what, and he, I'm looking back at your, your record now, Drake, and your record doesn't really look that well. You know, it, you, it never really looked well. <laughs> <laughs> but again, well, the whole thing of it is just the business. Mm. I think this is why it's going to be a problem for him to be the creative that he wants to be when there's a, such a big business behind so it. So you're basically saying you're not, he's not going to respond. 
Oh, he can't respond. I think he's. I think he's gonna wait for J Cole, because Kendrick and J Cole is what we all want Ooh. as two great rappers mm. who really mm. love rap and can actually rap. Mm. Yeah, they can hang with each other. Yeah. Yeah, that that's the battle that we always wanted. Now, but see, any, do you really think Kendrick's gonna go? With J, uh, J Cole's gonna go with Kendrick? Yeah, that's the thing. You look. Yeah, at, you, you look. You listen to I like. Yeah, you, you listen to like that, and it, it was all about Drake. Like that. The, the and it was directed mostly at Drake. No, it was directed at both of them. Both of them, but and you had. Like that, that focus on Drake. Yeah, but he already attacked Drake a hundred times. Drake never responded. So nothing new. That cipher when he's like putting the the sensitive rapper back in his pajama clothes. Him. That's why that's I always love that line. Yeah, that's just one. You yeah, know, no, that's one of many. One of many, exactly. That's what I'm saying. But so. the business is too big to allow Drake to be himself. This is the problem. When I think you get I agree to with a that. Certain point. I, I mean, you you can talk to creatives and artists. You can you can ask even an audience who. So a lot of them actually are creatives and artists. When you get to a certain level, you can't. You can't move really the way flex the way move. you want to flex. Yeah. You can't do the work that you want to work because of the establishment. If you're doing a movie and you're writing this movie for yourself, you'd be like, "Yo, this is I mean, this is my work." But once Netflix and NBC get involved, mm. or any big company, they're gonna make changes for what they think works because the business is more important than you, and you have to make those changes and accept them and move forward, or else you're not gonna have business. So it's a choice between selling out or, you know, just getting out of the door. If you have a big machine behind you, 100% you have to sell out. It's not even your choice. Mm. It's not your choice. No, but where does that leave you as a creative, right? And which space does that leave you as a creative? I don't think you're a creative at this point. You're a product. Ooh. Mm. Damn, That's boy. It's done. It's done. Is this, done. Is this why we missed you? Mm. This is why we missed you? It's like, it's like one week in Russia, look what happened. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It has, it has <laughs> thoughts. It has thoughts of <laughs> you. Know? Man is product. I, <laughs> man, man is product. His <laughs> yeah. final result of capitalism. <laughs> that's true. That's actually true. <laughs> no, but see, I mean, that's... Damn, that's a dark fucking thought, yo. So that tells me... As with, all, with all due respect, you can't be a, a rapper and your name is Aubrey and you've been on Degrassi. His name is not Aubrey, bro. Okay, forget about he him. Is, it is, his no, name no, is Aubrey. No, no, but we're look, look at it. <laughs> his name is Aubrey. <laughs> <laughs> Just hammering <laughs> that <laughs> point. <laughs> his drizzle. The guy, seriously. <laughs> seriously, his name is Aubrey. His name is Aubrey. His name is Drizzy. He had a bar mitzvah. By the way, he's a drizzle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Close enough. Close enough. For... No, no, but again, as a creative, you have to, you forge. The reason you come up in the first place is because you have that unique voice, right? You have that something that catches people's attention, that does something different. And then sooner or later, you get packaged, you get sold, you get commod- you become a product commodified, basically. Uh, and then what? You you lose every sense of creative juice you have. Yeah, basically, you reach the end of your shelf life and onto the next product. Actually. No, but see, you don't reach <laughs> the end of your shelf life. You, get, you see the opportunity. You expire. There's a bigger team behind you that's going to try to take every single little thing out of you to make it more profitable. And they're going to find new ways of trying to make you more profitable for them. And then it will be up to you to take that chance. Say, you know, I have to go there now because I need to do one, two, three. I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo once did this advertisement in Japan for that jaw thing. Where you put like a piece of plastic and you just move your head and just like has wings that you keep shaking. What the fuck? Was that? supposed to improve your jaw. Google it. I'm not uh, joking. You know what? I might need that. <laughs> it's a jaw <laughs> flapper. I don't know what it was called. No, I think it was <laughs> no only, that's, that's not. What I think it's it was only advertised in Japan. Okay. So like sometimes, yo, know, I need to make extra bread. This bread looks as because look, you get to a point that you think about, you know what? My legacy. Not my legacy as an artist. Maybe my legacy as with my family. What am I going to have behind for me, for my family? And my so net on, worth. For us to live uh, comfortably for the future. And when that becomes a priority, then you start making decisions on that. You ignore being a creative. You're looking more at profits for myself because I got hurt so many times by y'all. Every time <laughs> I release something that, you know what? Fuck y'all feelings. I want to make my money. No, but this is all like... A really shit fucking outcome, bro. Like yeah, this is never. This that's is, the truth. You know, the only uh, the only positive that comes out of this is what you said. Like whatever I will get out of this to 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 you know ensure my family is good. You have well different incentives. So it's the money. It's the money at the end of it's the a, day. Uh, money is an incentive. I'm, I'm gonna it's make. A, I'm gonna make a controversial statement. Mm, yes. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna make a very controversial statement. I'm sorry, Neymar. Went for the money. Went for the money. Bro, that's, that's a great bro, example. We just saw the exa- the video of Cristiano Ronaldo doing the flappy dance. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what that was, bro. But, yeah, but again, yeah. Neymar went after money every single way. Him and his pops. Anytime they got a big deal, a big bag, they left. 
I mean, he left Barcelona. No, but that's different. He's not a creative. Barcelona. We're talking about creatives. Let's go back to creatives for a second. It's about being, yeah, you know, that that active creation that will be taken and will be packaged. And we look at Kanye, for example. And Kanye would be the counterpoint to all of this, right? Actually, no, I think he's a great example for all of this. How so? No. Because he went against the establishment, right? He burned all his bridges. He yeah, bur- but he, he burned, went after he, it, after thinking that he's so big that he can take everything from them. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, he burned all his bridges and he got to the point where this guy was supposed to be fucking canceled. Nobody was supposed to give this guy a platform. This guy wasn't supposed to be represented. And then he drops the fucking album and everybody forgets about, forgets about that shit. <laughs> you know, he drops yeah. the fucking album. No, no, he drops the fucking album and he doesn't, he goes and he doesn't even fucking perform he just plays it but, and people pay money to but, hear it while watching him that's the it's audience crazy that's the audience the businesses are still not dealing with kanye kanye will make money off the audience but he will not make money off the business yeah it goes to show you have so, you seen his latest isn't, drop isn't, isn't his the, latest clothing drop i mean everybody's reviewing it it is so nasty bro, it's fucking 20 dollars yanny <laughs> no besides it was for 180 then he dropped down to 20 dollars Okay, it's not even worth twenty dollars. Right? That's what I'm saying, bro. But people still bought it. Of course, because it's who? It's, it's his name. It's his so brand. Kanye is literally doing his final run. You think so? If, know, should, if Kanye starts losing a fan base, mm. Kanye is not gonna get. He's not there yet. Else. He's not there yet. Though. Every time he survived, he survived because a great fucking business deal that was behind him. Mm. And he and every time a company got behind him, he was so amazing. Mm. But full ownership is something that he will never see, and. If he can't make that work, he's gonna start losing out. Well, come on, is it wasn't he fixing his shirt with Adidas bad? No. That wasn't there's happening. No, there's no fixing. There's no fixing. He just released a shirt that said fuck Adidas on it. <laughs> in, 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 <laughs> you know, in Russian. You know, I, <laughs> in Russian. I, I it said that in Russian. I, I aspire yeah, so to be that petty. Really read it, you know? uh, I aspire to be that petty. Good for you, Kanye. Yeah, I would buy that. <laughs> you know, that's a that's a nice t shirt. But like Kanye is literally betting on himself now. And again, Kanye is, I think, the exception, right? Like, and I think this brings us back to the discussion we were having last week about 50 Cent. Like, 50 Cent is one of those people, like, you're happy now. <laughs> yeah. He's one of those people who, you know, spinned off from being an artist, broke free of that, hey, spun industry, off. spun yeah. off, you know, from that industry being controlling me, and went into the whole Jay-Z route of business ventures till I make it to the top, which is, again, selling yourself in just a different way. I just kind of love that 50 Cent, his motto is basically... Everybody can get it. Did you see his latest Instagram post? Of course. Of the documentary? Of what? course. So his latest Instagram post um, is a mock-up of a future documentary on one uh, P. Diddy Esquire. Oh. Diddy Esquire. <laughs> is. <laughs> the title of the mock documentary is Did He Do It? <laughs> <laughs> That's gold. Ah, uh, that is hilarious. That's though. actually gold. Actually, the best one I saw he posted the one, <laughs> the diddler. The diddler. Is the diddler. You sent me that. That's absolutely one. hilarious. <laughs> that was hilarious, bro. You can't play with fifty. Bro. Did he do? It? He's asking good questions. Like fifty is amazing on marketing. If you see every post that he has, the reason why he he found a way to monetize being fifty. Mm. So every time he's mm. trashing someone, go look at the hashtag. It's his cognac. It's his, it's his, <laughs> and he's been doing, and he's been doing yeah. that for a long time. Yeah. It's always the, the the latest brand or show that he's doing. <laughs> it's in the hashtag and tagged. I'm loving like these, these examples that we're coming up with the creatives basically here. Like So 50 Cent is the guy just taking pot shots of everybody. Yes. He's sitting on the lawn and he's waiting for something to burn. I don't exactly. Know. He's just waiting for that shit to just He's it. watching the people who built a dynasty crumble in front of him. Mm. We are talking here about the uh, bad boy uh, situation <laughs> yes. that's going on. So is he on the loose? I heard he's on the loose, right? No, he's not on the loose. But, he was just spot in Miami. So Hello? Did he? Yeah, he walking to, uh, free. The yes. man is walking free. Now he has lawyers and shit. Like mm. things are going to go for things a while. Things are going to yeah. take time. We're not here talking about Diddy. Back to yeah. business and creative, bro. <laughs> no, shoot. But again, these examples are all interesting. And we're talking about, you know, A, the guy that sold out, Drake. B, the guy that tried to burden down. Uh, Kanye. Are we actually claiming that Drake sold out? Long guys. Uh, look, time as ago. us, as an international market. Long guys time ago. Yeah, as an international market, he sold out a long time ago for us. Yeah. Yes. You know, as the US, was it- you would have to ask the US how they feel about this. But we're looking at Drake, we're looking at all this from an international level. We're not looking at living it day to day over there. Because as we said, beef and rap also has consequences. That's my second question that I was trying to get to. Is beef and rap as spicy as it used to be back yes. in the day? 
Yes. It's still happening, yes. bro. People still getting yes. shot. No, no, People yes, still yes, getting yes, killed yes. over but shit. On that high of a level, like, can it get to the Drake level of getting of shot? Shuf, when look, look, at it, look, at it, look at it this way, right? Because when the, you the, when you get to that level, yeah, you have a lot of minions. Okay. You have a lot of minions that are doing a lot of things for you. Mm -hmm. You are the cash cow. Mm -hmm. These minions are not going to allow their cash cow to get hurt. Mm -hmm. So, so murder is going to happen? Yes. So minions will go after the minions of the other person. Mm. That's just going to go. It's just going to happen. Interesting. And it already happened, by the way. Like, it was, like shots have been fired from both camps already. Actual shots? No, no, not yet. Yeah, that's what never. Was the like we don't, we don't see, when, when, you, when you look when you look at when you look at the smaller artists, yeah. artists that are coming up, you do hear of artists that get shot and yeah, killed because the, of beef the that one, happens in the yeah, street. That's that's the couple you know, that come up to mind is they're not on the level of Drake where Nipsey Hussle and XXX Tentacion, yeah. gamer tag, whatever number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't respect them, bro. Yeah, there's yeah, there's a bunch of them. There's a, there's a couple of others, Annie. Juice World. Juice World uh, overdosed. Juice World overdosed. Uh, Juice World is a true loss. Theo Vaughn, what's his name? Uh, Juice World, like until this day, Juice World, like I feel like really bad that we lost Juice World. Because he could have been the next thing. And he was on that level. He was. Yeah. He was. He gave me the little Wayne vibes, bro. So rap beef is real. You know, but again, as Adel mentioned, like when you get to that level, and especially when you get to that Drake level, they're not going to let you engage in these shenanigans. But not engaging these shenanigans will, at some point, tank it, your cred, which it, is where we are right now. It, is is the the cred tanking? You know, Drake, the type of rapper to call beef shenanigans. Okay, okay, <laughs> it's not him, bro. It's the managers. Look, the one thing that I love about all this happening is Kendrick basically put a dent in the whole. Oh, we're all rappers. Sure. We all like we're each all other. Friends. We all make music together. Mm. No, nah, I mean, it's for me. Because it was always business behind it. Mm. It was always, yo, you make a track with that guy, even though guys are not in the same room, because we need to put these numbers in a certain way, right? And he came and he just took a shot at all of that. So the ownership of the creative, basically. Is that what, is that, yeah, sure, we are giving Kendrick credit here. You know? Kendrick is a poet. He's a writer. We had a, we yeah. had the argument if he's an artist or he's, or he's a rapper. Yeah. I told you he's a rapper. And he moves like a rapper. <laughs> and his move, taking shot at a, such a big machine, is not something light. Oh, but You're disrupting an industry right now. I, I don't give a shit. Right? J. Cole is about to release an album. J. Cole and Drake on a tour right now. Mm. And see, that's... And that's on that's, an active tour. And that's the funny thing to me. Like, J. Cole just getting involved in the... Yeah, like, you stirred up that shit, the shit in a sense, right? Yeah, but they never you, thought... Like you know, why 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 are you trying to team up with number two? Right? See, you know you're number three, bro. You know you're number three. You know it. You know it. Like we're not arguing this here, right? Like you trying to team up with number two to to go after one is, is that's never a good idea, bro. Well, he's one for a reason. Spotify put out billboards in L.A. and New York that said hip hop is competition. Mm. Mm. That's true. Exactly, and this is why I'm so happy that this is happening. That we're seeing the competition because again. no, because the industry owned the music. The music sucked for the last ten years. Generally, yes. Yes. I would say generally, definitely industry music. Uh, 100% industry music. Every Drake album was mid. And all the stuff that you heard on the radio, all the stuff you heard on the top 100. Now. Like, you know me, like the stuff I listen to is nowhere near there. I know. And that's why, do you know that Junior Lucas dropped the same day <laughs> that Like That came out? Oh, wow. Yes. Really? Poor guy, man. Do you know also, what's his name? Big Sean dropped an album. Bro, I, I saw Big Sean <laughs> come out with like a freeze. He's like, yo, I'm not, I don't even want to be in this conversation. Yo. I just want to make music. I don't give a shit about your numbers. You know, I'm just here, bro. See, like, this is how big mm. of a deal this is. Mm. Everything gets lost. And I, I respect the competition. I respect the the love for the craft. I appreciate the fact that it's it's it has always been a core part of the culture and it's still alive. Right? And Kendrick gave us bars that everybody started dissecting in every single way. When was the last time we sat around and said, you know what, yeah, we have to dissect these bars? True. Push it. Push it was the last one. See how important the beef is. Right. Like Pusha T gave us brings some people amazing hate, bars. hate number one brings people together. together. This is, <laughs> correct me like if I'm model. wrong, but isn't this the motto of the podcast? Yes, it is. <laughs> you that know, is and and that's just like, yeah, it's one of the things me and you know Adil bond again, over the hate that we see directed in words. I think watching how things unfold is going to be very important because I don't gonna, think anything is going to happen. Honestly, uh, but we'll, we'll see. What's next, Danny? I don't think we'll any, see. Because I want to see how the business is going to react. Mm. 
I'm going to make a very strong prediction. Because, uh, hold on, creatives, before you do, creatives always lost when the business reacts. Well, that's the thing. The only way the business would react for me is ignore the fuck out of this and yes. keep moving. Still full steam ahead. Yeah, exactly. Pretend like but, nothing happened. Yeah, but your your excuses, their excuses for Pusha T to ignore it, uh, he's a rapper from back in the day. Mm. He's not as big as Drake. Mm. Okay. <laughs> now so, you have Kendrick Lamar, <laughs> who is in the same field but same bracket yeah but bigger yeah both of them top bracket Mm. all three of them on top bracket and he's saying okay now i'll go at him now let's see what's the excuse what's it gonna be what jay prince is gonna say i don't think there's any room for him to honestly do anything i don't see drake responding he has to i see i see j cole coming out with the track yes but i don't see drake responding. yeah which is basically my this is why we were talking about the business of drake Mm. because then if he does not respond to someone in his bracket that can go toe-to-toe with him, then that really hurts his business. Because everyone's fighting for who's number one, who's the GOAT. Mm. And if this guy... Hey, well, okay, speaking, speaking of if that. If this guy takes number one and takes the GOAT away from Drake, and it's unanimous that everyone who loves hip-hop thinks that Kendrick is the GOAT, that's taking business away from Drake. It's taking people away from Drake. And business is not going to be happy. What you were saying, sir? Yeah, my prediction. Jake Cole's going to respond. Drake is going to be in his feelings. Drake is already in his feelings. I will give you yeah, that that's, one. That's, <laughs> I think that's the default state of Drake. Every time someone goes at Drake, he goes to Instagram putting posts like, a, like an angry ex-girlfriend. So it's the same thing. Nothing changes with him. And then he, but Jake Cole is what we were all looking Because Jake Cole has an album coming out soon. And I think Jake Cole would love to battle Kendrick. I don't think he can hold his own, honestly. J. Cole? Yeah. Ah, I would disagree with you on that yeah, one. I, I don't think he can, yeah, he, he can come out with bars, but he won't be able to stand, you know, in the battle Every for time, long. every time, J. Cole had a freestyle. Yeah. No, no, he, the, guy, the man is good. The man is. is good. Is. I will not take anything away from him. You know, he is a wordsmith of the finest degree. But well, he's more of a Ibra kind of wordsmith, you know? <laughs> yeah, he did, uh, yeah, he did that for a while. Yeah. Yeah, the, if the, he dissed you, he'd be misled. I feel, yeah, I, I, I feel think, like maybe I the, think the greatest advice he gave is don't save her. She didn't want to be saved. <laughs> Look, I think the difference. <laughs> A think, lot of people need to understand that term. Uh, many people don't. I think, my bad, my bad. I think Ooh, the difference is that. Sponsor podcast. <laughs> I think the difference is that Kendrick grew up in the streets and has that to his uh, to his you know edge right like i this shit is not going to be a joke when i when i talk about it he said it drake he's like, i got clouds. ptsd yeah like this shit is not a joke when i come at you i will yeah drake had I a bar mitzvah my this is la leakers you. You got a milk. yes sir With la leakers really sour milk yeah. just incredible this one has been uh, about 12 years in the making man it's, yes, it's hard would it's you los sir? angeles in- sir, what's up man it just keeps popping this is too j cole this is still hard is here with the LA leakers. The yeah. For freestyle 108, baby. That's good. It's dreadful, Jake Cole. He did one of these in so <laughs> fucking long. Feel this shit before he drops it. Let's go. Yeah, rest is short. The best is here in the flesh, and that's for sure. The rest should wear my vest. I'm set for war, nigga. Press record. I send niggas to address the law. Same flow to put your neck to sword. The same flow to just undress your whore. Take over, nigga. Check the score. This is chess. Better check your ball. Who gave the world more fire but got less reward? No stress. My only guess is that less is more. More or less. 100 G's in my dresser drawer. I'm blessed. Hope I arrest. Don't arrest me for it. I'm new to it. My new crib got the Times Square view to it. My two bitches lay in my bed i'm used to it that's your best friend giving me head now you do it see mommy it's not so weird after i hit i cut you off like picasso air van gogh or whoever got this damn guy you talk about like you might not he might not be able to go toe-to-toe with jake that's only like this is like this is the champions league final Damn. Let's keep in mind. Yeah, this is uh, there's another interesting. Element this is here. a classical. This is that there's an interesting element here. We've never really seen either of them really go at someone before, right? We've never really seen Kendrick really go at someone before. In the yeah. same way as like Push did. Hey, like you, like I'm going after this guy now. Well, he just did. Hey, and, 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 <laughs> he just did on an album that wasn't like lo- okay. Hey, he man. did it twice. Remember Control? Control was more of a general fuck all. Y'all. It was uh, yeah, yeah by name. Yeah. So Kendrick did it multiple times. Name and shame, man. 
Kendrick Lamar. I'm talking about J Cole. J Cole, no, J Cole had to J Cole. J Cole was the peaceful boy. No, J Cole. Well, he said it. He was like mm. uh, the clutch, uh, the Moreover. college advisor. Yeah. He, and he did it in what, what was it, 1985? Like, yo, young rappers, <laughs> let me just give you some advice here. Give me a little boy. Yeah, give me a little boy. <laughs> I've been in this game. Let me let me hit you up. No, but um, fuck yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I'm actually, to see where I'm this actually goes. excited. I'm actually excited for this. Time and no patience for this. They be making a who they debating mm. is better. Let's face it, he one of the greatest. No Bill Cosby shit, but if niggas is sleeping, then fuck right. Most niggas don't understand right. me. I don't do the Grammys. Right. I be in my jammies on sofa. Most niggas don't understand me. Ferrari or Camry, I better look good in them both. <laughs> Most niggas don't even get this. Go how you on top, but you don't got no bitches. I know. Most niggas don't even get this. To give in the chest, they trade family for riches. I know. Hey. Look at my ceiling, it's endless. I'm sick of these bitch niggas feeling the symptoms. It ain't in the vitamin C and they system to get rid of me. I'm a killer, uh. relentless on top, but I sound like I'm still in the Trenches, I come from the villa, turn villains to witness. Reach and see RIP, fill up your missions. A message for niggas that's feeling ambitious. How come a nigga still ain't into this pride? Ah, you bitch, all season coming May 14th. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this guy, crazy. this guy, yeah, crazy, yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's why I'm telling you, I'm so, like, I'm so happy for this happening now. <laughs> see, like, I needed this, bro. Uh, that's the that's the nice thing about rap, bro. You still find the 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 realness. The realness is still there, and that is this is it coming out, honestly. Like, you know, despite all the industry bullshit, despite all of the fucking plastic around it, this is the fucking fire that keeps it going. Mm. Mm. Ah, I love this. Okay, I boy. love this. I love this. I really hope both of them come out with something. Thank I you really for partaking hope. the conversation, fellas. Well, like, I'm yeah. enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, any... I'm enjoying it. I'm watching like the highlights of uh, today's goals. Uh, mm. any, uh, okay. <laughs> good simulation, Leo. Uh, excuse me. I'm a everybody. We recorded this at night, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Ex- excuse you. I partook with my Drake hate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so lovely. Thank you for sharing the hate. We appreciate the hate. Your name is Aubrey. Oh, this is, this is <laughs> us. Your name is Aubrey. And you're an actor, which is You fine. had a bar mitzvah. <laughs> and you're repping a different country. You can't be a rapper and have a bar mitzvah. Mm, controversial. <laughs> well, I mean, Dave, Dave, L- Dave. Little Dicky's got a little Dicky yeah. would argue with that one. He would have an issue with that one. By the way, that's a rapper name. By the way, yeah, For, yeah, 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 yeah. that's not what Shamsi calls it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, the guy has a show. Show his name. <laughs> You know? the, fact that, the, fact, the fact that you're saying this is a bit more disturbing honestly, <laughs> honestly. oh uh, well anyways um, <laughs> there's nothing else boys there's nothing else. <laughs> yeah. we appreciate you for being here yeah. oh, thank you for joining the Past the Caps rap of- like two episodes back to back of going back to hip hop yeah no but sweet, there's action going on look I saw Billboard Arabia <laughs> I saw Al Rami and a couple of other people Given a breakdown of what's happening. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And my God, how can you get something so wrong? <laughs> it's so, it's so... No, no, they didn't go like didn't go far off. Like <sighs> when you look at the details of this whole beef between all of them, mm. all those four, it goes back like 10 years. Four, it's not who, who's the fourth one? Uh, everybody, Future, Drake, uh, Future. Uh, Kendrick, yeah. and J. Cole. I've completely forgot about Future. <laughs> <laughs> He's not like this of... goes way, way back. Mm. Like for Future, from like the time of Tony Montana and when he had Drake uh, on the remix, and Drake didn't show up to the music video. And, uh, and it's interesting, also having Metro booming, like really, really. Yeah, Ma- Metro Metro is angry at because Drake won the Grammy for Album of the Year. Mm. And he's like, I put so much hard work and like they don't care about me. So that was that's what he was angry about. Mm. That was totally different. But, you know, the hate grew. Future has a problem. That's why the album's called We Don't Like You. <laughs> Simple as that. Yeah, We Don't Like mm. You is a direct hit. We don't like you. I love that. We. Like, it's a we here. There's I know a, it is. It's a, it's a we. There's, it's a, a, we. there's a collective. A Who's, whose album is that? This is Metro Boomin Future's album. And it's not hate. You oh. know, it's not very Drake, active. Drake. It's just like, no, Drake, we don't like uh, you, you Drake's know? album, Her Loss, well, everyone started reaching. They were like, Drake's album, Her Loss, is a shot at Princess Diana and Future. Mm-hmm. Because he had a track which was, on which was, which was the lady the in question. Do- the, the, the lady, what would you call her? Uh, lady of Loose Virtue. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <Is> that, okay. <laughs> so people went back like multiple albums trying to piece these things together and everyone has this whole map mm. of how it works out. Oh. It, it's been it's been a, like a huge like undertaking to watch everybody dissect this Conspiracy? and go all the way back. <laughs> and it fits so perfectly. That's why when I see people giving a breakdown, that's like, you know, it's very... Shallow, I think. Uh, like you know, there's more depth to all of this. And, and we're talking yeah, about who, who's a, you and we don't like you. Take a wild guess. Drake, Mr. Drizzle. Okay, to confirm. Yes, yes. 
No, but see, it's, it's, it's fun to watch. This is one, okay? Yeah, and maybe some people might may think this is childish. And okay. it might be on some level, but on another level, these are Which real. People? I don't know, but you know, just generally, like <laughs> the, people, the fact that it goes into violence and the fact that it ends up killing people, you know? Boy, you dodged that joke so quick to continue <laughs> hey, your man. sentence. I can, man, man. Like, like, see, you're controlled by business. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're the exact example. Function, function okay. not for yeah. me. Do <laughs> function. <laughs> okay. Like, yo, you can't even express your creativity because you're afraid that business is going to affect you. Business, indeed. Siddiq. Mm. Mm. So, so that's her name. I have completely <laughs> forgot my train of thought. Thank you, you, fellas. Because I done. exposed the truth. Mm. Truthiness. <laughs> Shout out to our test and 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 test All right. Mm. Number one. Mother Russia says hello. <laughs> okay, all right. How was it over there? Did they beat your ass? I'll, it I'll, it was, it was very cold and my ear was delicious. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay. Picasso, homie. No, because, no, the rumor was they cut off one of the guy, one of the terrorist's ears off and fed it to him. Yes. Yeah, that was a rumor. Russians don't okay. play. Yeah. <laughs> Russians don't play, bro. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. We know who it was. <laughs> well, one of them. No, mm. look at that's, that's why he's leaning yeah. this way the whole time <laughs> while we're talking. Mm, cartilage. <laughs> Anyways, we out? We out. Peace. Peace. Peace.